Yeah, so let's get right into it, man. I want to cover something. Um, I want to follow up on something that I covered a few episodes ago. There was a fight in Germany, and essentially what happened was um, initially one fighter, this guy named Rafal Jakuzic, was announced the winner by unanimous decision against a guy named Rico Muller in Germany. And the decision... I think from what I've read from everyone at ringside was not a good decision. And so what had happened was the loser, Rico Muller, his promoter had appealed to the BDB, which is essentially the governing body of professional boxing in Germany. And there was a a panel of five judges, I think, that were assigned to the fight. And they all ruled in favor of the loser, Rico Muller. And so initially what had happened was that the result of the fight was changed from a win for Jakuic to a no contest. Um, And just in looking at BoxRec, that was how I found out about it initially, was just looking through all the dates and seeing on BoxRec that this fight, this particular fight was a no contest. Anytime I see a no contest, I just want to see, like, what's the reason for this? Is it a headbutt, you know? So what had happened was, in fact, the decision was reversed in favor of this guy, Muller, Rico Muller. So I think that that is, I'm trying to figure out, I've been thinking about this a lot, but I'm trying to figure out if that's a good thing or a bad thing. There's, there's goods and bads to it. I think it's definitely good anytime that there's a decision that's clearly not right or justified. There should be some sort of panel some sort of overarching governing body that can review these kinds of things. And especially, you know, there's been a lot of bad decisions. I talk about it on this show, how bad the fucking judging is in boxing. And so often it makes no sense. And I don't, I think that it's, it would be smart to have a panel of, of judges that, are not influenced by the event itself or by a crowd. Obviously, there's no crowds right now, but this was a judging has been a problem for years and years in boxing. So this seems like it could be a good check on that. On another hand, it seems like there's potential that, you know, on the off chance that the A side of the card gets the bad end of a close fight, you know, that they would be able to appeal it and kind of use their popularity and financial leverage to persuade, you know, the decision to get shifted. Um, And I could definitely see that happening. I mean, imagine if somebody as wealthy as Floyd Mayweather, you know, had gotten jobbed on a decision in some way, and this was available to him. Not even jobbed. Imagine if it was a legitimate 6-6 fight, and he's like, yo, fuck that. I won this thing that could definitely get changed um, with someone with as much influence that generates that much revenue, that much money for so many different people, the venue, the promoters, the networks, da, 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 da. Um, So I could, I could see that as potentially being dangerous, but it seems like at this level, at these kind of like mid-level contender, um, smaller localized fights, that this is something that could be really useful. But I thought it was worth covering because, you know, the bad judging in boxing is consistently, I believe, something that, I'm going to just keep talking about it, it continues to hold the sport back. It continues to hold the sport back every fucking chance it can. Um, Because there's a butterfly effect to all of these things, you know. A guy gets a bad decision, you know, loses that fight. If the winner of the fight, you know, was already a big name going in, you know, they're way more likely to trend towards a big fight, whereas the loser sort of still takes a step back, even if, you know, the people see it a different way. Um, And that's fucked up. That's fucked up. This is a, I think this is potentially a good check on that. 